Hello, Patrick Walchuk here, and as usual, we're going to break down the financials on a building that sold in Ottawa for the month of June 2024. This is a commercial property and had six units, so let's get right into the financials. Now, this building, uh, again, Central Ottawa, six unit, listed for a million three, sold for a million one seventy. The scheduled rental income on it was almost ninety-five thousand dollars. The effective rental income, that's in these. 3% for vacancy and bad debt was about $92,000. The stated operating expenses were $35,000. When we factor in maintenance and uh, management, the total operating expenses were a little over $44,000. Knowing that, we know that our net operating income was almost $48,000. And because we know our NOI, we can now calculate a cap rate, which was a little on the high side for Ottawa, if you will. Uh at 4.09, now I know when some people look at that say, oh, 4.09 is high for a cap rate. Well, it is what it is. Um, operating expense ratio, 48%. That is high. That's kind of ugly high. Um, it sold for 13 times the gross, 24 times the net. And because of these numbers here with the high number uh, for your operating expenses, uh, boy, oh boy, you're not going to want to overpay for this property. So the interesting thing about this is that in order to break even or have a small positive cash flow, the buyer here would have had to have a 41% down payment, which one would expect after seeing a, a cap like that and operating expense ratios like that. Um, you know, we historically have been looking at 50 to 55 percent in some cases in Ottawa. That number seemed to have been decreasing. So this is on the lower end of the recent historical numbers, but kind of good to see. So anyhow, down payment 41 percent equates to about $480,000. Uh, gives us a mortgage of $690,000. Uh, the annual debt service on that mortgage is almost $48,000. And in the end, all we're looking for here is small positive cash flow. So it returns you $224 and that's how things shook out on that. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to give me a call. Thank you.